Introduce yourself, please. Hi, I'm Annie Beekman, and I am the 2012 Ursuline women's soccer coach. First season at Ursuline. Yes, it is. Uh, everybody knows that, uh, that you're you're from IWA, and now you're representing the South Side. How's uh, we're about a month into the season. How do you what do you think's going on? Uh, well, it's definitely a transition year, um, but it's been very exciting t for me to see the girls develop, and every day we are getting better. Uh, the girls are starting to get to know each other. As you know, there's only two returning seniors that saw a lot of time, and so it is a lot of getting to know each other, and it's 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 been fun. It's definitely a process, but uh, I think we're all starting to get more comfortable with each other. You uh, Tell me a little bit about your motivation. Why why did you leave a pretty comfortable, settled life that you had there? <laughs> I, I did. I absolutely loved Incarnate and uh, the girls and the families, and I can't say enough great things about them. Uh, I just, I've been at Incarnate my entire life. I went to high school there. I helped them win the first state title for the school and, and then was assistant in vers and a head coach as time went on. I taught there. Um, I just feel like I need to grow as a coach and even as a person and put myself in a challenging situation being that like this is a whole new environment like different logistics different people brand new coaching staff and I, I want to I did want to see if I could you know make a positive difference um, it, like I said incarnate was great but can I you know help the girls be great and build on what they've already started the Arsenal in my mind has always had very competitive uh, teams and players and I just want to see if I can build on it and, and help them down the road maybe win their first state title ever. To me what, that's exciting. What kind of athletic tradition do they have here? I'm, I'm just back after 25 <laughs> years and it, I'm well, still getting acquainted. You know, the tradition is, is very interesting to me. I'm still trying to, to figure out what it is. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they I'm their third coach in four years so that was one of my biggest things. I want to respect their traditions and maybe have the girls here add to it. And my first conversation with the girls is, what is your legacy going to be to mm -hmm. Ursuline and to the program? How are you going to add to the great soccer program that is Ursuline? And, you know, we're still trying to figure that out. Um, the one thing I know with the Ursuline girls is they're going to work hard and they're going to stay positive, and that's a start. Well, they're going to need some uh, positive effort this weekend. You're off to a very competitive tournament uh, in Kansas City, the heart of America. Yes. Tell me a little bit about it. First game is going to be against what's called Jenks. Yes, a very physical team. Ranked number eight <laughs> in the uh, ESPN nope. list, I think. No big deal. Bring them on. <laughs> Bring them on. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, you know, as the way I've approached every season, no matter mm -hmm. what team I'm, uh, I'm working with, is, you know, really every game is an opportunity to improve and grow. And really these are all practice games and and what's exciting is to face these teams from different parts of the country uh i think we'll play a team from oklahoma possibly colorado you know kansas city area and it's so exciting to see what we can do against that level of talent mm -hmm. you know how it, it's a pride thing at that point and also learning experience can we learn can we grow can we become a better team because of that well, St. Louis, if anywhere, should realize the importance of competition. Absolutely. The uh, the odds are pretty good that you may face Liberty on Saturday <laughs> at the Heart of yes. America tournament. How would the girls approach that game? Do you think is there any? Have you been here long enough to understand what's happening there? You know, I, I'm still trying to figure that part out, but I I would like to think that they're going to go in with a sense of pride. And you know, playing as a former high school player, I would like I would think a lot of them are still carrying that around. You know, their heart kind of sank oh, when that, that ball was, went that in. That was a tough loss. It was a heartbreaker, and it, that's hard to get over. I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes you may walk around your whole life with that sinking feeling, you know. But I think um, the other component that I think is interesting is these are two very brand-new teams. So, in essence, Liberty and Ursuline have not played each other. We have not – Ursuline has not faced this team, mm -hmm. and they have not faced us. So last year was last year, and even though, it was, you know, obviously it's the same schools – they're brand new teams, right. absolutely brand new teams, and you know we'll just have to go after it with everything we have and see what happens. Well, good luck. One Thank you one so other much. question as I try to uh, get settled myself here in this: Who's uh, Ursuline's biggest uh, derby game, for example, in soccer? Do you have a Do you have a derby? Oh, um, when you say derby, do you mean like uh, who's your biggest rival? Somebody oh, biggest who rival? do they really get wound up for? Who do they want to beat? Oh my gosh, everyone! <laughs> who, did <laughs> I, who did IWA want to beat? Oh, are you allowed to say? Oh, well, it's I'll have to say. Know, I, right? IWA 
I would always get pumped up for the St. Joe's game. Would you? Yeah. And the girls, because it's, and it, it's out of, it honestly is out of respect because we know St. Joe's mm-hmm. is gonna, would always come after IWA with, with everything they have. Right. And, you know, we wanted to make sure we held our own. And a lot of those girls are friends because they play club. So it's mm-hmm. also like a pride thing. It's like, oh, no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, your team is not going to beat us kind no of thing. No shortage you of know? those in this town. Right. So I, the St. Joe game was a big one for Incarnate Word. And Ursula, I'm still, you know, because of their district. I mean, Nerings right. and, and St. Joe's, you know, these are all big in, big games and and where the school's located. So right. I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, well then I'll uh, I'll be back for a, a rematch and a catch up Thank as you. we both learn this process. Thanks, Coach. Thank you so much. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Bye.